This tutorial will show you how to configure your Injix IGS01 to forward data to Ubeek's hook. First, go to hook.ubeek.io in your browser and click Create Endpoint. Next, screw in your antenna and plug the device into your laptop or PC using a USB-A cable. Then, go to see the available Wi-Fi networks on your machine. If you do not see the network BLE Wi-Fi appear in your available networks, reset your device by holding down the reset button on the back of your gateway for a long hold of 5 or more seconds. The light for Wi-Fi connectivity on your gateway should turn off briefly before blinking again. The password to connect to BLE Wi-Fi is 12345678. After connecting, go to your browser and open up 192.168.10.1. The login and password are both admin. The first thing you will want to do is to set up the connection to Wi-Fi on your gateway. We will do this by switching the mode to Station on the Wi-Fi tab. Then, proceed with scanning for the available networks and selecting your channel. Finally, you will enter your Wi-Fi password under Security Key. We will need to finish with the configuration before resetting our gateway. After clicking Save, go to Applications tab. On the first drop-down, choose HTTP Client. In the Host field, please type in hook.ubeek.io. And return to the previous page to retrieve your unique hook ID. The port should be set to 443. Check the Keep Alive box. For the request interval, you can select any interval you like. We are going to choose one second for our demo here. Now save and wait for a few seconds to make sure the device is updated. Then, reboot the device by clicking on the rightmost link on the top of your screen. We are now done with the configuration of our Injix IGS01 gateway. That means you will need to disconnect from BLE Wi-Fi and reconnect to your usual Wi-Fi. You can return to the Ubeek Hook website and verify your data is streaming in. Try to expand your data by clicking on each post on the left panel of the page. Please note that the data can be displayed in multiple formats. You can also choose to export all your data as a CSV file. Thank you for watching.